we've got some incredible body tricks for you to show your friends. Now, the next one might get you all feeling a little sleepy. We're conducting a little experiment. We're going to yawn. Ugh. And just look what happens. That's one. Two. She's trying not to. Ugh. Oh, he's yawning again. Four. Five. Got you. Six, seven, eight, triple whammy. Are you yawning at home? It's a yawnorama. Is this boring? Hands up if you yawned. Me. So when we yawned, they yawned. Who thinks they've got a good explanation about why they yawned? I think yawning is um, a contagious disease because when one person does it, another person does it, then another person does it, and it just keeps on going. It's a good theory, Giuliano. We see someone looking tired and we think, I must be tired because they look tired. Another good theory, Charlie. So we've got all sorts of different explanations. And the really disappointing thing is that scientists and doctors don't know why we yawn. How about that? <laughs> they really cheated, like, what? what? Well, it's true. The human body's an amazing thing, but sometimes doctors like us just don't know why things happen. Some experts think that yawning may have developed as a means of communication, telling everyone that you're tired, just like Charlie suggested. Or some think that when you're bored or tired, a big yawn will help you take in more oxygen, keeping you alert and awake. Whatever the reason, make sure you try this out on your mates. But don't do it when you're in class. You might get in trouble. 